and welcome to CAB. Today we will design FSM for the uh, binary number system divisible by three. Before finding the binary number divisible by three, first we will find the divisibility by uh, divisibility of decimal number by three. So decimal number means zero to nine. So after finding uh, divisibility, after checking the divisibility, we came to know that zero three six nine are the number which are having the remainder zero. So that is indicated by the name, good name as zero. 147, which are having remainder 1, are indicated by the name S1258, which are having remainder 2, is indicated by the name S2. Now, we know the divisibility number by 3, but that is not our question. Our question was binary number divisible by 3. So, what we are going to do, we are going to convert the decimal number into binary number. The decimal number, when converted into binary number, is uh, how we are going to convert. We are going to take either 0 or 1. So, decimal number 0 is 0, decimal number 1 is 1. Decimal number 2 is 10, uh, decimal number 3 is 11, one, one. decimal number 4 is 100, zero, zero, and so on. Now we will find out the STC solution. Already we have given a uh, name to the remainder as S0, S1, and S2 based on the remainders. Now, as we are having binary number, we are going to take two tape because the symbols that we are going to consider will be either 0 or 1. Now, what will be the initial state? The initial state will be in the case of divisibility, always we are going to consider S0 as the initial state because the previous remainder is 0. Okay, now we will consider the bit as either 0 or 1 because this is the binary number system. So, which number is represented here is 0. 0 means 0. So, uh, what is the remainder of 0? Remainder 0 when divided by 3, the remainder will be 0. Which state is representing, is representing remainder 0 is S0. Now, number, this is number 1 in binary. Now, what is the decimal equivalent is 1. So, whether 1 is divisible by 3, no, with the remainder 1. And which state is representing remainder 1 is S1. Now, this state S0 is already considered here. Now, this is a new state. So, now we will consider S1 state. So, which string is represented by S1 state? S1 state is representing string 1. Now, we will write S1 with a, again 2 tape. So, this is your S1, which is having its own string 1. And then the second bit can be either 0 or second bit can be 1 because this is binary number system. Now, 1, 0. 1, 0 is what is the equivalent of 1, 0 in decimal number system? 1, 0 represents number 2. Number 2 is divisible by 3, no, having the remainder 2. Which state is representing remainder 2? S2 state is representing remainder 2. Now 1, 1. 1, 1 in the binary. What is the de decimal equivalent of 1? 1 is 3. Whether the 3 is divisible by 3? Yes. With the remainder 0. Which state is representing remainder 0? S0 state. Now, which state? Uh, now here we are having S2 state and S0 state. After which uh, S0 state is already considered here. So no need of considering S0 again and again. And the new state that is generated is S2. Now we'll consider S2 state. Now which string is represented by S2? S2 is now representing 1, 0. So I will write S2 with its own string. That is 1, 0. So here we are having S2 with the string. This is your S2. Now we are waiting for the next bit. Next bit can be either 0 or it can be 1. So 1, 0, 0. Which string is generated here? This is 1, 0, 0 binary. Decimal will be 4. Whether the 4 is divisible by 3? No. How many, what was the remainder? Remainder will be 1. Okay, which state is representing remainder 1? S1 state. Now, 101. 101, what will be the decimal equivalent? Number 5. Number 5 is not divisible by 3, having the remainder 2. This state is representing remainder 2, S2 state. Okay, now, two states are generated here, S1 and S2, and both are previously considered. So, we we'll stop generating the new tapes here. Now, what we are going to do now, after uh, finishing the uh, consideration of the tape method, what we are going to do now, we are going to design, we are, we are going to write the two functions. We are writing the STF function in which we are having input with the state goes to the next state. And we are having second function, which is MAF input with the next state, input with the state goes, uh, generating the result. So here, first of all, we are writing the STF function. So here we are having STF function and here we are having MAF function. So how many inputs we are having only one, uh, two inputs, zero and one, zero and one. Now, what will be the initial state? The initial state here is S0. So we're writing S0 state. Okay, S0. 
So here also S0. So S0 with 0 as we are writing the STF function here. So what we are going to write here in the this thing, uh, as a, in the cell of your uh, table, STF table, we are going to write the state. So S0, well, uh, S0 with 0. S0 with this 2, 0, where it is going, it is going to S0. So we write S0, which remainder is represented by S0 that we have to write here. It is representing remainder 0. Now S0 with 1. S0 with 1, what is uh, what will be the resultant state? S0 with 1 is going to S1 state, which remainder is represented by S1 is 1. Now the resultant state is S1. Now S1 with 0, what was the resultant state is S2. So here also S1. S1 with 0 is going to S2 state. What is the remainder as S2 is 2. Now S1 with 1. S1 with 1 is going to S2 state. So it is going to S2 state. What is the output of the S2 state is 0. Okay. Now we are going to consider S2. Now S2 with 0. The remainder was 1. So S2 with 0. What is the remainder 1 is nothing but S1 state. So it is again S2, S2 with S1 is going to uh, is generating remainder 1. S2 with 1, S2 with 1, remainder is 2, that is going to S2 state. So S2 with 1 is remainder 2. So this is how we have completed the table. Now we will draw the diagram, state transition diagram. So we'll draw first the initial state. Here the initial state is S0. And this is also the final state because it is showing the divisibility. So S0 with 0, that is going, it is going to S0. Now, what is the upper associated with S0? We are going to append here. Now, S0 with 1, where it is going? S0 with 1, it is going to S1 state. What is the upper is 1. Now, S1 with 0, where it is going? S1 with 0, it is going to S2. What is the upper associated with S2 is 2. Now, S1 with 0, it is going to, it is going to S0 state. Sorry. Uh, it is uh, S1 with 1, it is going to S0 with the output 0. Now, S2, S2 with 0, it is going to S1 and what is the output of S1 is 1. S2 with 1 is going to SL and what is the output associated with S2 is 2. So, this is how we have generated any state machine for the binary number divisible type. Hope you like the video, share the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.